Hello and welcome to Aro Sudoku, or Sudokaro if you read the i newspaper on a Saturday. That's the only place I've seen these puzzles. They're actually supplied by a company called Clarity Media, and I've given a link to their website here, and I'll put the link below the video as well. They, they produce a couple of online magazines featuring Aro Sudoku, and they're only a couple of pounds each. Well worth the money. So what is Aro Sudoku? Well, the normal rules of Sudoku apply. But we've also got these arrows and circles. The arrows end in a circle. And the rule here is that all the numbers along the arrow must total the number in the circle. So for example, if we have a 6 here in the top left, and the circle at the top left, then we could have a 5 and a 1 along the arrow, or a 1 and a 5, or a 4 and a 2, or a 2 and a 4, the order is not important. We couldn't have a 3 and a 3 because that would contradict the rule that we can't have the same number duplicated in a box. We can have the same number along the arrow. For example, here's a 5, which is made up of a 1, 1 and a 3. The two ones aren't in the same box, they're not in the same row or the same column, so that doesn't contradict the rules of Sudoku. So how do we go about solving Aro Sudoku? I'm going to solve the first puzzle from Clarity Media's online magazine. I hope they won't mind, but there's not much help for these puzzles out there, and they're fiendishly difficult to get started with. So how do we go about solving this? Well, if this was an ordinary Sudoku, we'd be pretty much stuck because we've only got a few numbers here and these numbers give us no information. So we're going to have to glean what we can from the circles and arrows. Now you might have to spend quite a bit of time studying this to find where you can get some information. The trick to this particular puzzle is to begin close at home and to have a look at the arrow which goes through the 1. And there are two empty cells here adding up to a circle outside the box. The box is on the top left, the circle's on the top left here. So can we figure out what goes on the two empty arrow segments? Well, we've already got a 3 and a 4 in this box, so there could be a 2 here. If there was a 2, that would add to the 1 to give us 3, which means that we could have a 5 or a 6 given as 8 or 9 total in the circle. Okay. Um, but what if we didn't want to have a 2? Could What's the next available number? Well, the next available number is a 5. We've got a 1, 3 and 4 already, so we could put a 5 there. 5 and a 1 is 6. But if we don't want to put a 2, then the next number available is 6 and that would give us 12 altogether. The highest number we can have in a circle is obviously 9. So we must have a 2 on one of these arrow segments here. So let's pencil that in. We don't know which one it is but it's one of the two. But this gives us some information. 1, 2, 3 and 4 are now accounted for. So let's have a look at this circle which has a 4 coming out of it. There's just one arrow segment. It can't be a 6 there because 6 and 4 is 10. That would be too much. The only available number to put on the arrow head is 5. So let's put a 5 in. That means the, arrow, the number in the circle must be a 9. So we've made some progress. So now that we've got the 5 here, this gives us some information about what must lie with the 2 and the 1 along this arrow here. The next number up is a 6, so it could be that. 2, 6 and 1 gives us 9. It cannot be a 7 because 2, 7 and 1 gives us 10, which gives us double digits. And we can't have anything more than a 9 in the upper circle. So we must have a 6. We don't know where exactly, but it must be on one of these two cells along with, this, along with the 2. So this tells us we can put a 9 in this circle at the end here. 
So let's go ahead with that. And now we can use the normal rules of Sudoku to help us find where there's another 9. There can't be a 9 in that row, in this row here, or in this column here from the 9. And I hope it should be obvious that we cannot put a 9 on an arrow line because the number in the circle cannot be more than 9. So that leaves only one place for a 9 in this top central box, and that's in the middle circle at the top. So let's put a 9 in there. It's always good to see what we can do with the 9s now and again. The 9s are actually the easiest things to figure out because they can't lie on the arrow lines. We can actually see where some lines where some nines might appear in this top right box here. And um, we can't have any nines in the top row or in the bottom row. So I'll just show that. We also can't have any nine on the arrow segment as explained before. So there must be a nine in one of these two cells here. So let's pencil that in. We can also find where there might be some nines in this lower central box. And um, there can't be any nine in the top in, this, in the two columns to the right. There can't be any 9 on this arrow segment, so there has to be a 9 on one of the two remaining cells, so let's pencil that in. And now let's return to our central box. We've got the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, and also the 9. That just leaves a 7 and an 8, which must fit into the two remaining circles. Let's assume there's going to be a, a 7 in this circle on the left. We've already got a 3 on the arrow, so that means the other two numbers must add up to 4. We can't have a 2 and a 2 because we can't have the same number duplicated in the same box, so it must be a 1 and a 3. There must be a 1 and a 3 on either of these two remaining segments. But look, we've already got a 1 and a 3 in this column here. So that would break the rule of Sudoku. We cannot have a 1 and a 3 on this cell here. So we cannot have a 7 here because it would mean putting a 1 and a 3 here. So the 7 must be on the right and the 8 must be at the top of that arrowhead. So we've got a 3 and 2 cells which must add up to 8. That must add up to 5. 5 and 3 is 8. Could it be? Now 5 is 1 and a 4 or 3 and a, tr on a, or three and a 2. Let's try 1 and a 4. But again, look, we've got a 1 and a 4 already in this column. So the 5 cannot be made up of 1 and a 4. It must be made up of 3 and a 2. And we've already got a 3 in that column. So the 3 must be on the arrowhead and the 2 below the 3. I think that's all I'm going to do for now. If you want me to make another video showing the next part of the solution, let me know. But what I'll do is I'll put a a link to the full PowerPoint solution below the video so you can download that. In the meantime, good luck with Aru Sudoku.